With the War Within right around the corner, there's no better time to clean things up, switch things up, and start fresh than right now. As you probably know, I've been using Now's UI for years, and honestly, it's been great. But sometimes you just get the sudden urge for change. And you might hate change. That's totally understandable. Why fix something that isn't broken, right? But maybe, just maybe, you don't know what you're missing out on unless you try your other options. You could even make the argument that if you're trying to improve as a player, keeping things fresh and not sliding into complacency can force you to pay closer attention to what's happening on your screen. So a few weeks ago, I took the leap of faith and decided to try Quasi's UI in place of Now's UI. And honestly, I've been loving it. Now, there were a few tweaks that I decided to make solely based on personal preference, but I'll talk about what some of those alterations were. And if you decide you like them over Quasi's defaults, I'll put links to those modified profiles in the description. Now, there's a handful of add-ons that you'll need to make sure you have installed if you don't already, if you want to get Quasi's UI. So those add-ons are LVY, Details, Bigwigs, Plater, Omni CD, and Weak Auras. Now, before we dive in, if you guys want to get this UI and all the profiles, you can check out Quasi's videos or go directly to his website to download everything. And I'll put links to everything in the description and the pinned comment. And thanks to Quasi for allowing me to make this video. Right, so first let's take a look at the LVUI profile. If you're coming from Now's UI, this probably won't be too different from what you're used to. So all of Quasi's profiles use the font Accidental Presidency, which I found to be a little hard to read until I adjusted my UI scale in the LVUI settings to be 0.71. So if you find that you're having a hard time reading it, go to the General tab, General again, and then go down to UI scale. And this slider will dictate how large or small the elements of your UI are. Sometimes if you press auto scale, you might think that's the best option. But what I found is because I have a 1440p monitor, it scaled it to be a little smaller than I would have preferred. I'm getting old here, guys. I'm 35 now. It's a little hard for me to read small text. So yeah, I put mine up to 0.71 and that made it much easier to read. But if you want to use a different font altogether, you can just click on the fonts tab and change the default font to whatever font you prefer. You can also change the font of the floating combat text. I have a special font loaded up right now that you can just ignore. You'll come to learn what this is eventually, but don't worry about it. If you want to change your floating combat text, you can do it in this drop down menu here. Now, while we're here, you should also go back to the general tab and scroll down and check out this slider here. This is the game menu slider. This is a brand new thing that was just added into LVY. So if you don't see this here, make sure you go update your LVY add-on first and then you should see it. It fixes a problem that was introduced just this last patch, pre-patch for the War Within. So what you might find now is when you load up the game and you press escape and you bring up this game menu, it might be a lot larger than it used to be. LVY implemented a setting you can now adjust to fix this. So again, you go to LVY, go to general, general again, and then scroll down and look for game menu. And you can adjust the size of it here. I found it's best between 0.75 and 0.8 It'll be set to one as default, and I find that's a bit too big. So if you bring it down to like 0.85, that's kind of the sweet spot. So I also opted to move my party frame to a more conventional spot. Quasi had them positioned under his personal health bar, so underneath here, uh, which is a perfectly fine spot. I've been trying to keep the bottom portion of my screen a bit more like clean and open, clear of clutter. So I decided to move the party frames, and I'll show you exactly where I moved them to. It's basically just a more conventional spot. So I just have them placed right here. I adjusted the size to be different than what Quasi had set up. But if you guys want to copy just my settings for the party frames, you can go here, go to unit frames, group units, party, then click on the size and positions tab at the bottom, and then just copy these numbers. You'll be able to move it within LVY, click on movers. We'll let you grab the party frames uh, mover right here and just put it wherever you feel is best. And this is just what I prefer. But again, you don't have to do this. You can leave it exactly where Quasi's default LVI profile puts it. And if you decide to copy my modified LVI profile that I'm going to link in the description again, um, you'll get this along with all the other modifications that I've made to LVI. Okay, so action bars. In the past, I've had my main action bars fully visible at the bottom of the screen. And this is actually something that I'm trying really hard to change going into the war within. Um, not just to clean up my screen, but also just because it's a very bad habit that I have where my eyes default to looking down at my bars rather than staying centered in the middle of my screen where I can see my character's feet and my Mikora package is positioned in a way where I can see my abilities 
while not losing track of my character. Quasi's profile has them hidden by default, so you won't have to do anything if you want to keep them, uh, you know, not visible like I have here. The one thing you just want to make sure you do or don't do is to deactivate them completely. If you go into LVI and go to action bars, go to player bars, you'll have all of these bars up here. You'll be able to go up to, I believe seven is when it starts shifting into the, uh, the paging options. So just stick with one through six. Me personally, I'm using for my main bars at the bottom, I have one, five and six those i don't know why they're spaced out like that but those are just the three that i use for the bottom so what you want to make sure you do is if you want to keep them there and you just want to be able to mouse over them you want to keep them enabled and then click on mouse over so this keeps them on your screen but they're basically just invisible until you put your cursor on top of them now if you were to go and uncheck enable this does get rid of those bars but then any keybinds that you had assigned to those bars are now inactive. So if you have your main rotation on those bars, um, you can see none of my buttons work now because they were all bound to those three action bars. So if you want to go this route, just make sure that you keep them enabled, but then have mouse over selected. So all of those keybinds still work and everything is functioning as it should. Now you can also use this for some of the other action bars, like if you have maybe a, an auxiliary sort of side action bar where you put maybe some consumables or like just items that you need quick access to. Like I have this one hidden over here where it has my profession stuff, some toys, uh, drums, bank, hearthstone, you know, other various macros and whatnot. Um, I have that also just positioned down here and hidden. So it's not in the way unless I absolutely need it. I can just put my mouse over it and access what I need. So if you are a player that tends to stare at your bars at the bottom, I know it's hard, but it's a, it's a habit you have to get out of, guys. You definitely have to break that habit, and you're probably performing a lot worse than you actually could be because your focus is down at the bottom of your screen. You're really only seeing probably the bottom half of your screen, even like through your peripherals. If you're able to shift your focus up to where you have your weak aura pack, I mean, that's the whole purpose of having this weak aura pack in the first place, right? Is to bring your attention up so you can see more of your screen where your character is standing and your feet but whatever swirlies or mechanics might be happening around your feet that's going to make you a much better player because you're not splitting your focus you're not splitting your focus between the bottom of your screen where your abilities are in your rotation and the top half of your screen where the encounter mechanics are you're keeping things centralized and you're getting the best of both worlds so i would strongly recommend turning off your action bars and your parses will improve now if you're not quite ready to take that step and turn them off completely you can just go back into these settings and find which action bars you're working with and just turn off the mouse over they'll be there at the bottom of your screen uh, fully visible or you know wherever you decide to put them if they're on the side or whatever um, you can just uncheck mouse over and you'll have them back and again this is through action bars lvi settings action bars player bars and then you find which one you're working with and then uncheck mouse over and when it comes to these action bars you can customize the size and the spacing of them as well with quasi's default he has a kind of a, a section of four action bars put into like sort of a rectangle shape. I chose to go with the classic, just three bars. So if you want to get this layout, you just copy my settings. It's 12 buttons, 12 buttons per row, button spacing one, button size 28. Again, you can modify this to your liking. And if you want to make them bigger or smaller, you can just adjust the button size. So you will have to do this for each bar. So remember what the settings are and just apply them to all the bars that you want to stay in a uniform sort of shape. Okay, now, so for details, bigwigs, and plater, I've left those completely as is. So you can just take Quasi's profiles and import them into those specific add-ons and they will be more than good enough. I actually really like the layout that Quasi has for his details. I feel like the colors chosen and just the, the visual clarity of not just his details, but his plater profile, color selection, everything that comes along with the profile very very crisp very clear it just makes it feel like a more cleaned up experience and a, a more modern one and my only complaint is the plater audio cues so i normally play with audio cues in my weak auras and big wigs so having them integrated into plater it's kind of a bit overkill for me to be honest there were times where i'd walk into brackenhide for example and the first pull was just a constant barrage of audio cues yelling at me for every single mechanic from every mob so it was a bit much cc 
CC CC CC Don't move CC Don't move CC 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 Don't move Don't move CC One afflicted spawned CC But the problem that I faced here was that Plater is using the Kazizi shared media add-on to pull sound files from and in Plater there's no quick toggle to turn off all audio cues. The only way to turn it off is to remove the shared media add-on which I can't quite do because I use that for other add-ons and weak auras. So I spent forever um, in the Plater options, cast colors and names. Um, sort of manually disabling all of the audio cues for almost every mechanic that I've encountered in at least, you know, Dragonflight Season 4. But it still didn't quite work. I was still getting some audio cues and it was still a barrage of noise. Now, I'll be honest, there's a high chance that I'm just doing something wrong. So if you guys end up having the same issue and you figure out how to solve it, let me know in the comments below. I also made some adjustments in Omni CD mainly because I moved my party frames, as I mentioned previously, which also meant I had to adjust Omni CD accordingly. So if we open the Omni CD panel by pressing slash OC, then go to dungeons, and if I check test, it'll give you an example of what my frames look like. You can see on the right-hand side, I have all of the players' available cooldowns, whether they're racials or just class defensives or offensive utility. And then on the right-hand side is where debuffs will go. So again, these are alterations that I made that are a little bit different from the quasi profile. So if you guys want this profile specifically to go with all the other stuff that you might be getting from me, I will put a link to that profile in the description. And when it comes to class weak aura packages, honestly, quasi has fantastic packs for each class and spec, which is honestly really great and really uh, convenient if you're looking to play some alts in the war within i know i've been trying to level up some alts in the new pre-patch event and having uh you know quick access to really um detailed weak aura packages for each and every spec has been amazing but i do have to say i've been using my own havoc weak aura pack since you know me and my team we designed it around my own preferences and my needs in my gameplay so that's just what i prefer i've been playing with my own weak aura pack and not quasi's havoc pack if you want to also get my havoc weak aura pack you can find a link to it in the description i truly believe that it's the best havoc pack out there right now i mean no shade to any of the other ones they're all great but this one is made by a Havoc main, Havoc one trick, to meet the needs that only other Havoc players would know. There is honestly like a lot of cool little features and hidden gems in this pack, so I highly recommend you try it out. Link will be in the description. And just a heads up, if you do use it with Quasi's UI, you may need to adjust the size of it just to make it fit nicely in between your health bar and your target health bar. A quick and easy way to do that is to type slash WA to open up the Weak Ors panel. You'll find the Weak Ors pack, click on it, and then under group, you'll find the group scale slider. And you may need to just adjust this setting either lower or higher to get everything to be the right size to fit where you need it. And also while we're on the topic of weak auras, you may have also noticed my consumables right above my health bar. And this is another one of my own weak auras that just kind of anchors my racials. In my case, it's shadow meld, uh, my health stone, my health pots, damage potions to the top of my health bar so I can see what I have available at a quick glance. Link to this will also be in the description, along with everything else I've mentioned previously. It's all there. So if you've been thinking about stepping up your UI game and you want to give this a try, Quasi has an amazing video guiding you through the step-by-step -step process of installing, which is honestly super pain-free, incredibly easy, and really fast to do. If you have any questions about customizing LVY, Plater, details, any of that stuff, Quasi has insanely good videos that go through every single setting. So if you have a question, it'll likely be answered in those videos. And hey, if you decide it's not for you, you can just toggle your profiles back over to nows or whatever you were using previously. And it's right back to where you started off. So there's really no harm in trying. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.